I admire freedom fighters wherever they are, but I still believe that nonviolence is the strongest approach. I think that would apply to the Hungarian situation also. I don't think it's limited to a particular locality. I think it uh, should apply in every situation in the world where individuals seek to break loose from the bondage of colonialism or from some totalitarian regime or from the system which we confront in America. You truly believe then that nonviolence is the sole, the universal answer to injustice and oppression? Very definitely. Very definitely. I feel that uh, nonviolence, organized, I should say, organized uh, nonviolent resistance is the most powerful weapon weapon that oppressed people can use in breaking a loose from the bondage of oppression. Now the other method that one might use is that of resignation or acquiescence. But I think that is just as bad as violence because non-cooperation with evil is as much a moral obligation as is cooperation with good. You make a difference, a distinction between passive resistance and non-violent resistance, is that it? Well, I, I think that can be something of a semantical problem. Uh, if passive resistance means uh, just passively accepting violence or injustice, if it means uh, cowardice and stagnant passivity, then there is a difference because non-violent resistance th does resist. It is dynamically active. It is passive uh, physically, but it is strongly active spiritually.